A landowner in Wailuku, Maui has a vision. Build a steel gate that restricts access to the popular swinging bridges and Waihe'e Valley to limit its liability from accidents. Residents like Kaniloa Kamaunu, who live near the valley, have another vision. Lead the fight against the restriction, which they believe ignores the traditional and customary rights of Native Hawaiians, who for generations have been swimming, fishing, and taking care of ancient burial sites. On a recent morning, the tension was revealed to seven trustees from the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. For me, it holds a significance because of my cultural practices, but I do have uh, my family is from here. If you block our access, how are we going to traverse, not only culturally, but um, being able to malama our family because we have burials there also. Like a lot of other observers, Daniel Ornalis, a Maui district land agent with the State Department of Land and Natural Resources, understands the landowner's perspective. In his mind, it's about liability, but he doesn't consider the traditional cultural rights of valley residents that is still protected by law. So for a landowner to come in, slap up a gate, and tell valley residents who've been going up there for a thousand years, you can't go anymore. That's quite disconcerting for a lot of people. In the meantime, the issue is being closely watched by OHA trustees, who have been forced in the past to take aggressive steps. This is typical to people that have, to, to Native Hawaiians that want to preserve and protect their lifestyle, their cultural status, as well as their rights forever, and we will have to stand behind them to clarify their Native rights and their access rights. 